Getting started on the ball joint group by. Um, this is a ball joint conversion for the kingpin trucks. So roughly 77, 620 and older. There, I've done it before. I've shot a lot of video about doing it before. Not sure just how much I'll post this time, but I did want to. Uh, I did want to record some for my own benefit, if anything. That way, uh, if I decide, I'm I'm planning on doing a few extra this time, and then uh, you know, basically by the time this is done, I will probably not do these again. I ordered these all from Rock Auto, all at the same time all the same brand okay so the part numbers are supposed to match so you know this is a RK620555 this is an RK620554 they're the way they're supposed to be you know this one is stamped this one isn't it's stamped under here the ball joints are a little bit different the mounts I think you can see that yeah, see how there's a plate here and there isn't here. Uh, there's a hex nut. There's a square nut. Those have to get cut off anyway, so I, I don't care about that. But uh, there's other tiny differences in the stampings and stuff like that. Um, dimensionally, they should be the same. All the dimensions, you know, where the center is on the ball joint compared to, uh, you know, the pivot on the inner bushing. All that should match up. Shock, stuff like that. Everything else is basically cosmetic. Uh, just kind of annoying that it's different. So hopefully I won't have any other issues when I come to machining stuff where it's different enough that i got to keep setting it up differently. The way they welded these, that's just stupid. That's, that's not the way it's supposed to be because the control linkage, the arm that goes over that and then bolts through here and then the torsion bar goes in, it's, it's got a cup over that. I'm going to have to make sure that the guys who are planning on using torsion bars, which is only like two maybe, um, that they actually get this style. Getting these boots off, I'm, I'm putting my palm on here and I'm using my fingers to pull up on the cup. Okay. And then I'm just coming in here and just suggesting to it that it goes along. And up it comes. I'm sure I've showed it already, but let's see if uh, we get another good take. Uh, just kind of walking it up there, getting a better grip on it, and off it comes. Piece of old cake. Not all of them have been that easy, but uh, most of them. So, kind of need that point in the right way. I have air over hydraulic here. Uh, this is just a two and a half inch, and you can see it's getting <laughs> beat up pretty good. Um, what is it? Two and a half ID. And it just slips. Uh, put it on there. So then I get it somewhat centered under there. Too many pop that hard, but uh, uh, you know, out it comes. <laughs> 